In week eight, Monday Night Football came to Three Rivers, and so did a rookie sensation named Earl Campbell. Campbell tunneled his way through the steel curtain for three short yardage touchdowns and performed like a champion. The Steelers, meanwhile, played like a team in a trance. Pittsburgh lost their first, but the second leg of the journey would depend on the defense. The NFL's leading Russia became beef in the stew. Carpenter, needing Campbell. Campbell, let's boom ahead and look at that. 227 pounds, and can he accelerate? He gets down close to the two-yard line. He's number 78. 76. On third down, Campbell. They're saying he got it in the end zone. Window that there are the two wild card spots. The handoff. Earl Campbell and Earl Campbell has a first down out of the 40 yard line to the 42. Touchdown. Earl Campbell is second of the night. This is Earl Campbell. And Earl Campbell is just carrying Pittsburgh Steelers. There was little or no hole. He just made one. And good defensive play on the part of the Oilers as Earl Campbell gets the call and. Sees a hole in the inside, breaks back. Just three and a half minutes of this first quarter and plenty of action already. From the 32, Stabler to Campbell, and he rips to the 39. It'll be second and three for Houston. Robin Cole, 56 on the tackle. One of the things that uh, Houston had to do is to rebuild the left side of their offensive line. Leon Gray, number 74. They say he's our first-round draft pick. Traded their first-round choice and a sixth, and boy, that's a good deal. You see him just knocking that defender right to the ground. The Steelers were playing basic defense. Pittsburgh hammered Earl Campbell into submission, and the NFL's Rookie of the Year spent most of his afternoon on the Oilers sideline. seven-yard line of the Steelers. <laughs> Earl Campbell, he'll throw it on occasion, or he'll run it. Campbell oh, drops the fumble. football again. There's a mad scramble for it. And the Steelers have it. Bob Coors. After them a year ago, along with Goodman, to get pass rush, and they're getting a lot of play out of Coors tonight. Well covered downfield. Nothing there. Robin Cole makes a good hit, pulls the ball out from Earl's arm. Only Campbell behind Stabler. He throws to Campbell. Bobbles the ball at the 30-yard line. Incomplete. Dan Pastorini said of Campbell, he can't catch a cold. Well, Stabler said, well, we'll prove that wrong. But the first try proves Pastorini prophetic as Campbell unable to hang on to a relatively easy chance. Can you imagine Campbell out in the open with the football in his hands and only light defensive backs to, to tackle him? It's obvious what they want to do, unable to get it done here in the early going. It's a about a five-yard gain, second and a long five, quick dump to Campbell, and he dropped it again. That's a replay of the first play of the Oilers series back in the, the opening minutes. Stabler disappointed, the ball right on target, Campbell had it. Looked like Campbell just tried to run with it, and that's that's anticipation. He's so anxious to get going into that secondary. Watch him here. He turns his eyes away from that football before he tucks it away, and I think right in junior high school, they start teaching it. Watch that football until you get it tucked away. Can't run before you have it. Third and a long five. Ronnie Coleman replaces Campbell. He's make the throw, don't they? You have to throw. You can't beat him on the ground.
going to have to catch that ball if he's going to be able to do the kind of things he wants during this season. And there are 16 games in this season, not just one. Stabler goes right back to Campbell. Campbell catches this one. That has to help his confidence. That tells me a lot about Stabler and his leadership. Kevin Stabler back to the air. A screen pass. Campbell catches this one. 30, 35, and caught from behind at the 37-yard line. Jack Lambert right on the heels of Campbell. Otherwise, Earl would have had another 10 yards or more. 7-3, to three, Houston leads. Campbell, that's his best run of the day. Nets him about 4 to the 9. Lambert, the all-pro middle backer from Kent State. Quarterback in high school. He grew up just two miles from the Cleveland Browns training camp in Hiram, Ohio. Was always a Browns fan and a Jim Brown fan. The Oilers trail 17-10. This is Campbell. He can't get outside. And a flag is down at the 50-yard line. You saw the speed of Ron Johnson, and there's an indication, too, that Campbell isn't 100%. You won't see him do that very often. Got to wonder what the call is, whether it's Campbell for pushing in the face or something into the face mask by Ron Johnson. Or Blunt, actually, probably on the face mask. Yeah. Against yeah. Pittsburgh. There was Johnson over there. Shot right here. Campbell, when you get him outside, get him isolated, one-on-one -on, -one on a back, Normally, when he is healthy, there is no con. There you see it, right there. He just grabbed that right hand right on the mask. I think maybe Earl knew he had the yardage. First and ten, the Oilers. That's Rinfro in motion. Campbell. And Campbell. Just explodes over the right side, out over the 25. Again, play action. Dumps it off to Campbell. Looks for a block. And Earl bounces out to the 25-yard line and a first down. And Pastorini is down as he delivered the ball. But he really gets leveled. And, of course, the great concern from the Oiler bench is because of his injury, how much of a beating is he going to take? And his offensive line done a pretty good job of protecting him today. Fourth down, a yard and a half. Armstrong in motion. Bobble the ball. Campbell loses it. Yeah, that's there was a mix-up in the backfield. Have to go right back to Cleveland in the same... If I had uh, been Bum Phillips and got a call from Commissioner Roselle and the Commissioner said, what's the worst thing that could possibly happen to you with a new quarterback and the situation they have, I just said, well, I certainly don't want to start with Pittsburgh and I don't want to play my first three games against divisional opponents on the road. That's exactly what they've got. Stabler and Earl Campbell, I believe it is, and yep. Campbell is still on his feet and fighting short of the first down, half close to the 35-yard line, about four yards short. Jack Ham was there, but that was a super catch by Earl Campbell. Third down and inches. Watch Look out. out, Campbell. Runs into J.T. Thomas after getting the first down. Come out, Campbell, and he finds it opening and turns it on. Look out. Gets away from Wagner and finally Shell makes the save at the 22-yard line. And have you ever seen a man? Yeah, maybe with the exception of Jimmy Brown, I don't think I've seen one at 230 pounds that can do what he does, agility and speed. Mike Wagner's still down for the Steelers, but look at this. That is a big man with that kind of a move. I'll tell you, Mike Wagner was down, and Lauren Taves was slow getting
itself here. You see Campbell, he's lifted the ball as if he wants this throw, but he can tell that White Shoes has covered a very fine defensive play, except for the fact that White Shoes stepped behind Ron Johnson and then took the, took the ball and showed us some of the speed that made him the most feared special teamer in the NFL a few years back. Second down, 10, both Renfro and White Shoes to the left. It's Campbell up the middle, no hole. He breaks through on his own out to the 33-yard line where it'll be third down and six. And in an obstacle race between women inmates and members of the prison staff. Again, short yardage for the Houston Oilers. That one was hung on to by Mike Barber. Stapler was 9 for 21 in the first half. attempts 24 yards for River Stadium Pittsburgh midway through the third quarter Dick Hamburg and Merlin Olson the Oilers down 17 nothing in the first quarter a chance to tie it up they trail 17 10 and Campbell is out of bounds at the two yard line maybe closer than that wrestled out by Donnie Shell 31 the Steelers doing everything right and seemingly getting all the breaks moved into a 17 nothing first quarter lead the Oilers who had a miserable first half dropped no less than have come back in the third quarter to score 10 and they're yard and a half away from tying the game. Third and one for a touchdown. A fumble and Houston apparently recovered and how the brakes are turning. That's the kind of play that Pittsburgh recovered time and time again. There were three deflections. You roll the dice long enough. It does even up. Watch that ball pop out again of the timing problems that will exist between Kenny Stabler, his backs, and his receivers. Did not get the handoff cleanly to Earl Campbell. Campbell obviously concentrating so thoroughly on getting up into that line, and Stabler stepped a little too far, but a great break. First and inches. Conway Heyman recovered the fumble. First and goal. It is a touchdown for Earl Campbell. Halfway mark comes to an end. And the Houston Oilers will be heard from along the way.